Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're going to be looking at Adored. Now, before I start talking about the weapon itself. So before we start with the video, I just wanted to let you guys know that a high percentage of people that watch my videos are not subscribed according to my analytics. So if you could do me a favor and subscribe, hit that bell notification. I would very much appreciate it. If you like my content, if you like just me in general, that would really help me out. So on with the video. So with that out of the way, let's look at Adored. First of all, the way you actually get this weapon is you can choose Gambit, Crucible, or Vanguard. I'm gonna just tell you to pick Vanguard itself. Don't even look at the other ones, mostly because you don't unlock anything else other than the weapon. So if you're looking to get the Crucible one specifically, you're gonna actually have to do Crucible twice. And the reason I tell you to do Vanguard is because it's really simple to just get in there and do what you need to do and then get out because the vanguard specifically that one you need to get 40 boss kills you have to kill a bunch of enemies until you get 100 percent obviously and then you have to defeat combatants using the sniper rifles until you reach 100 percent headshots obviously give you more uh percentage after that you actually get the gun itself but if you do want the ornaments like i said then for Vanguard, you're gonna have get, you're gonna have to get 70 sniper rifle kills, 20 sniper rifle rapid defeats, and 50 boss kills. For the Crucible ornaments, you're gonna have to get 50 sniper rifle kills, 20 sniper rifle headshots, and defeating guardians as a team. That that helps as well. For Gambit, it's gonna be 70 sniper rifle kills, 20 sniper rifle rapid defeats, which essentially just means defeat enemies like as fast as you can with with the weapon and you have to bank moats as a team so this one's honestly not that hard like all the ornaments were really simple i ended up getting like what the within the second to first week i think i don't remember correctly but it was pretty fast i got this weapon immediately and then got the ornaments almost like after that it was it's pretty fast especially if you are basically good like you don't even have to be great just be good that's really it let's look at the weapon itself for adored i love the design even though it's a, de a definite definite fucking reskin it's the fact that ah oh, dude like i'm so polarized about this because on one hand i do like it i like the the cloth and shit it's cool but on the other hand it's it's fucking beloved bro even like even in my files like when i was like like writing this up i was calling it beloved because i did i forgot it was it was adored so it's it's a reskin don't get me wrong but i could see people say it changes it enough for me and it's like for that for them it's like i guess me personally i just i can't like it that much to say it looks awesome because it's a reskin with just fucking a scarf and the ornaments oh man the ornaments i'm actually gonna make a, a separate video on this but the ornaments themselves are actually disappointing. So let's look at the ornaments. PvP, Gambit, Vanguard. And I know people are gonna be like, those look those look different. Those look cool. You see why I can't really say they're cool? They change nothing. Like minimal. At at the minimal or at the minimum, they should have just made the shaders be completely different like maybe the vanguard the scope becomes a different color maybe for the gambit one the the barrel and like back here changes color and then for this one all of it changes color it's very fucking lazy and i know i know people are just gonna let it slide and it fucking pisses me off so let's look at the weapon real quick because the weapon is actually pretty decent Hammer Forge Rifling for the increase in range. It's going to be Acarized Rounds for, again, the increase in range. And then for the first throw, it's going to be Vorpal Weapon and Triple Tap. Uh, obviously PvE, although Vorpal Weapon in PvP is viable as well for uh, Guardians and their super. And then for PvP, it's going to be Killing Wind and Snapshot Sights. These are great. Uh, personally, I would have much preferred Quick Draw instead of Snapshot Sights. Uh, snapshot Sights for me is never that good, aside from, like, maybe one or two sniper rifles but snapshot sights usually fuck me up when i'm aiming so for me i would have much preferred quick draw but these are awesome perks i love these especially triple tap and vorpal this is definitely going to replace my trophy hunter because 
unfortunately Trophy Hunter is going to be Sunset next season and I'm still quite fucking sad about that considering that's one of my favorite weapons in the game. But yeah, this, it's, honestly, I wouldn't be so mad if these actually changed, like, how the weapon looked. And I would have much preferred, like, I'll, I'll get, I'll, I'll, again, I'll make that video when I make that video. But it's, like, I'm just going to tell you guys right now, the ornaments are disappointing. So fucking disappointing, especially for how much they were hyping this up. So... Let's talk about PvE. PvE, I love this weapon. It feels great. It's basically beloved. Like, really. Like, it's, I don't know. I don't know how to tell you guys that. But it feels good. Uh, I would definitely use it in PvE. It de it's definitely viable because of the triple tap and Vorpal. It definitely feels like it's going to be viable. I don't know whether or not if backup mag is the play or if, uh, like, boss spec is the play. I still want to do some testing. But... If it's like tr Trophy Hunter, then it's most likely going to be uh, the the backup mag, just because I feel like backup mag getting that extra round is going to be doing more damage than the boss spec will be, be doing. But might never know. Uh, for PvP, it's it, literally it's it's beloved. You're going to like it. I question if Snapshot Sights was better than Quick Draw. I feel like Quick Draw people like like a lot more. Just because it does increase the handling by a lot. Personally, like I said, I would have much preferred Quick Draw. Snapshot Sights is like very... It's not a bad perk. It's just for me, it's, I don't hold it as high as other people do. Uh, Killing Wind is awesome. I love Killing Wind. So Killing Wind is definitely a bonus for this. But it's really funny because I don't want to use this weapon. I don't want to use this weapon because I want to use other stuff. But it's also because it's literally beloved. I don't know. It's really it's this this weapon is so jarring to me because I I like it, but at the same time I don't want to like it because it's so blatant and it, and like it's funny because other ritual weapons and even pinnacle weapons they're all reskins of other weapons, but I think I think it's the fact that we had sunsetting coming and the new weapon that they were showing us was literally beloved and before it was okay because we didn't have sunsetting and the weapon was super fucking good most of the time I'm not saying the door it's not good it's just this is basic roles that you would have like maybe triple tap and vorpal would be a god roll and yes they are god rolls but again it's on a, an adaptive frame i don't know if i would use an adaptive frame in pve a lot I'm just i'm just throwing like my true thoughts out but it's the fu the funny thing is like since sunsetting was a thing it was just like in my head i was like all right well if you guys are sunsetting i want new weapon we weapon uh, models like for real like i want new weapon models that i've never seen because if you're just gonna give us old weapon models then it's just it's gonna sting because it's like well this weapon's literally fucking adult like beloved but because oh we were we're pushing it back up it's like I said, it just feels like a very, it, it leaves a re very sour taste in my mouth, which is why, like, I hate this weapon. It's very just annoying to me, but whatever. Like, we live in this world now. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I, like I said, personally, the weapon itself, I like it. It's decent. It's not anything too crazy, but again, it's really fucking cool. I like it a lot. It's just the fact that. The weapon itself is a literal reskin of Beloved, and I know people are going to say, well, that's really literally every other ritual weapon and uh, pinnacle weapon. And it's like, I get that, but that was before we had sunsetting. Now we have sunsetting, and we're, we're literally getting reskins of sunset weapons. That's the difference for me. Is That's the biggest difference for me. Obviously, you guys can disagree with me, and by by all means, I, I, I welcome it. Uh, just don't be an asshole about it, but... It's the biggest thing as well is the fact that these ornaments are actually dog shit. <laughs> like if the ornaments were actually changing the weapon in some real way or if they even shader differently, then yeah, sure. I'd be like, all right, yeah, that's fine. Like whatever. I wasn't expecting much. It's the fact that I wasn't expecting much and they still disappointed me. Like I don't even know how you do that, bro. That's that skill right there. So 
yeah let me know your thoughts in the comments below i definitely recommend people get this weapon just because it's a good sniper rifle but it's just <laughs> that's yeah <laughs> fucking what the fuck dude because it's funny like Eat, eat, like beloved was even a reskin of old weapons too so it's like this weapon is a reskin of a reskin it's a, like bro what the fuck ah oh, dude oh my god bro like like even even the scope and the magazine it's like literally both of those are from the beloved skin so it's like fuck like ah uh, it's it's just funny to me it's really funny to me how they cannibalize something and call it new and i'm just like that's not new bro like no but whatever, we'll make that video later. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below. Thank you everyone for the support. I really do appreciate it. And other than that, I will see you guys later.